Previously on Moe's Rants. Kid Skill said 5,000 doesn't seem like a lot when two people doing it. Well, that's the thing. I don't think Dominic was going to get any money. <laughs> Dominic was just there. Dominic was the, the only person he could go out there to actually do this hit. Think about it. He don't want his dad knowing that he's dealing with the blacks. That's the first thing. He doesn't want his dad to know that he's trying to get drugs. He definitely doesn't want his dad knowing him that, that, that he about to go kill somebody for $5,000. Dominic is the only person that's going to actually go along with it. You remember what Jimmy was saying. No matter what we got going on, Jimmy still distinguished between right and wrong. He said, we don't do women. We don't do kids. Dominic didn't care. Jimmy even said, oh, I got a black family that moved down the street from me. They're not that bad. He talked to them before. They're not that bad. So he couldn't have, he couldn't have went to Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy, I need you to ride with me. We're going to go do, you know what I'm saying? Jimmy's like, no, nah, we can't do that. I got to tell your pops. But, hey, man, that dope game is, is crazy. He really wants that pack up off of Marvin. So he told Marvin, look, man. We can, we can go get it done. Just holler at me. Holler at me. So Marvin got this set up. And you heard what Unique said. Unique said, Marvin and Marco together. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. That, that right there was a foreshadow. We all knew exactly what was coming after that. We all knew that this plan didn't seem like it was going to go as planned. So right now, Unique is in Warrell. They're the only ones that know that they went over there. But the thing is, Warrell works for Unique, so he's not going to talk to the mob. But as I said, Unique sticks to the G code. Now, at first, the, the way I was looking at it, I was thinking Unique was going to be the one that could potentially tell Sal what happened. But as I was going over earlier, the mob, they didn't really mess with black folk. Unique understands that, and he respects the game. You also seen it was a look like a foreshadow, in my opinion, of him saying, you know what I'm saying? Like, Marvin's a stand-up guy. So regardless to whatever he got going on with Marvin, Marvin is still from the same place that he is. Marvin looks like him when he looks in the mirror. So He might not tell him. He might just say, I don't know nothing. And look out for Marvin and them because he's getting money with him. Y'all steal my op. But whatever we got going on, I'm not going to let somebody from the outside tear what we got going on. You know what I'm saying? Because we could potentially work together a little bit later on, even though I don't like y'all. But you know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Unique just think, ah, I just think he's part of the G-code. He ain't, he ain't going to tell nobody. I don't know, man. We're going to see him. Now, our boy Marco, Marco and Nick, that's what we're going to call him, Nick. They go on over there now. They pull up on Tony. They pulled up on Tony. Dominic saying, hey, man, in the Catskills, I learned everything. I learned my lesson up there. We good, man. We ain't got to trip no more. We ain't got to worry about nothing else. We good. I'm going to go in there. We're going to make something happen. Marco was saying, dog, whatever you're talking about, stop it, man. Just don't tell my dad about this. Don't tell dad we out here. Never mention this. We're going to go in. That's the silencer. We're going to knock them off, and we're going to get on out of here. Now, whoever in here, we just got to do what we got to do. You feel me? They get out front. Now, you got to be prepared for this. Man. You can't just go in here. You got to get, like, you about to run 100 meters. You got to get focused. You about to go in here. You got to do something in and out. $5,000 is on the line, people. $5,000 is on the line. That's a five comma three zero. That's what's on the line right here. Five bands. Five bands. What you going to do? I'll tell you what we're going to do.
we're gonna get focused. We about to go up in this house. We about to get this money, y'all. Five thousand dollars. You better believe it, man. We own this. <laughs> yeah, we own this. That's what we about to do. We about to go up in this motherfucker right now. Don't you tell my daddy about this. Don't be telling him I know how to, you know what I'm saying? Make a play out here. We're going to go in there. No talking. No witnesses. $5,000, y'all. $5,000 is on the line. I'm thinking, all right, they about to go in here and fuck some shit up. Tony in here getting her freak on. You know Marvin when she was there. Tony in here also getting her sniff on. Boy, what a night that is. Freak on the sniff on. It's all the same. Clap on, clap off. That white girl on that white girl. She ain't here toe up. Now, oh boy, he went to the bathroom. He said, yeah. <laughs> he went to that bathroom and said, shit, let me hop up in the shower, man. Let me hop up in the shower. All you hear is boom. Choo, choo, choo. Niggas came in busting. I said, damn, they ain't playing around. Nicole got caught. Pink, pink, pink. She on the bed. <sighs> Sleep time is over. Didn't stand a chance. Didn't even know what was happening. Just, oh, wee, I'm hot. Ooh, ooh. Now you're hot, now you're down. Old boy came out the bathroom in his robe, though. He heard that shooting. He's like, nigga, what? They busting him. Don't nobody bust in my house. I do the busting in my house. He came out. He tackled that nigga Marco. They going at it now. They're beep, beep, beep. They fighting. They on the ground. They tussling. They, 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 they going at it. Because right now, your life is, hey. Five thousand dollars is out there. You better. You don't know how to fight. You better figure out how to fight right now. You grab something. The street fight, man. This ain't it. every. Your life is on the line. You do whatever you can. You grab whatever you want. Y'all outside fighting. Y'all squaring up. It looked like it's four or five of them. Okay, it's four or five of them. It look like it's gonna be a little jump in the night. Okay, grab that rock. Hit a nigga in the head. Pink. Knock his ass out. They're going to think twice about jumping in before they do. Bow, you get them. You might take an L, but shit, at least you got one of them. But they didn't came in. They didn't kick through the door. They didn't expect to do no fighting. Let me tell you why they didn't expect to do no fighting. They came in, leather jackets. They got polos on. You know they got some slacks. They got the slippery shoes on. You know what I'm saying? The hard bottoms. That's what they got on. They came in to do a little drill. Kick through the door. Choo, choo. Took out the code. It was looking all sweet, but they like, yeah, man, we did that. Marco get tussling with goddamn, oh, man, they's looking ugly right now. So he's like, Dominique, help, 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 help. All Dominique had to do was just walk over there and say, hey, get off and put the gun to the back of his head or walk up to him and shoot him. He shot from the fucking door. I see my dog getting his ass whooped. I'm just, no, you don't do no shit like that, man. They over there rough. They rolling over. This is like a cartoon. They rolling over each other. It's like on the five heartbeats when they was up there, Duck and his brother. They rolling on the thing. People jumping over them. Like, who fights like this where you just tussling and everybody, oh, damn. You know what I'm saying? They in here fighting. Dominic talking about, uh, which one do I shoot? Which one is the real one? Shot his damn mans. Oh, my God. I'm looking at this. I said, damn, this shit's fucked up now because now we got to try to get rid of everybody. So, he just shot his boy. He's supposed to be a stone cold killer, right? He's supposed to be a stone cold killer. He shot his boy and did this. Nigga, shoot the nigga that's right there fighting your mans. The gun right here. And as soon as I seen it, I shot my boy. He's like, fuck. Bap, 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 bap. I'm trying to air out this motherfucker now. I, hey, I can't leave nobody in here. Dude, get up. He's talking about how you in the middle of a shootout. You don't shoot the guy you're supposed to shoot. You shoot your boy. You t- Man, the fiance that rolled over on your ass, that nigga rolled over him. Bah, 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 bah. He acting like soldier boy. He wasn't doing no aiming. The first shot hit the side of the wall. Look at him. He's standing right here with the gun on him. He ain't even, man, what? Dude ain't got, man, dude just came out the shower. He ain't got no draws on. He just shot you in your side. You trying to run out talking about shooting back like this. Man, you ain't hitting shit. Now your ass up in the pigeon coop. 
damn, I would have shot my boy. Now he and his pigeon coop. The fiance is in here talking about, I don't even know why they would come after her, man. She didn't even do nothing, man. She's not that type of girl. Shit. What you mean she ain't that type of girl? She was high as hell before she got popped. She is that type of girl. Cop talking about, all right, so what happened in there, man? Let me tell you, man. I just got done laying it down and I went to take a shower. I ain't gonna lie to you. I went and took a shower. I was like, shit, boy, I'm just tired of hell. Uh, man, I ain't really trying to go to work tomorrow. You just like, you watching up shit. You just thinking about stuff. You're like, fuck. <sighs> man, I might grab something before I go to sleep. Then all I heard, officer, was, choo, choo, choo. sir, what was that noise? Oh, that was some silence. Man, some dudes didn't kicked in the door. They didn't shot my girl in the bed, man. I just bought that bed set too, and it's all stained. But I tackled one of them. I'm talking about, I was giving them that work, officer. Bow, bow, bow. I was catching them too, man. It was two of them. So I was like, man, I know I got to try to kill this dude before they kill me. But as soon as I heard him say, shoot him, shoot him. I knew, let me turn this nigga on top, pause, and get him shot. And once he did that, man, you already know me, officer. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, man. I'm handy with that steel. I ain't no geek off the street. I let off two. The first one was a warning shot to see if he ran, but see, he was so delayed. I went ahead and let that second one off. I think I, I know for sure I hit him in the side, man. Like, man, I don't miss two. I don't miss two in a row. That, 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 that just ain't what I do, you sir. You know what I'm saying? That ain't what I do. So the officer's like, all right, did you did you know any of them? I'm like, nah, man. There's one of them that's hey, one of them still laying next to the bed. I I, I know he there. I don't know who he is. So the cop is taking all this information in, and guess what? Now the law has Sal's son dead. Sal's son is dead. Dominic, he's in the pigeon coop. It looked like he survives. The only thing is, he can't tell Sal nothing. What's he going to tell Sal? Yeah, me and your son, we went out there to go kill some people, and he died. No, nah, man. <laughs> I ain't telling Sal nothing. I'm just going to tell Sal. I don't know where. I, I don't know what he was out there for. Jimmy on a beat, boy.